Wraps come off the new Vauxhall Grandland X SUV. New Vauxhall Grandland X SUV unveiled ahead of Frankfurt debut, will sit on PSA platform. Vauxhall is aiming to grab a bigger slice of the SUV market, with a raft of new or updated crossovers on the horizon. And this is the latest, the Grandland X the company's rival for models such as the Cita Teca and Volkswagen Tiguan. The Grandland X is set for a public debut at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September, and is the third member of Vauxhall's X family joining the smaller Mocha X and Crossland X models. At 4.48m long and 1.84m wide, it's the largest SUV we've seen from the brand since the Antara, and 20cm longer than the Mocha X. It's also the first all-new model from Vauxhall to emerge since PSA Peugeot Citroën confirmed the pound 1.9 BN acquisition of Opel slash Vauxhall from General Motors. Prior to that, the two companies had agreed to pool resources to build the next generation of SUVs, which is why the Grandland X sits on PSA's EMP2 platform which is shared with the Peugeot 3008 and new Citroën C5 Aircross. It will be built alongside these models in France. Despite sharing much with the 3008 under the skin, the Grandland X features a markedly different exterior design that takes its cues from the Astra hatch. The chunky profile and rugged black plastic body cladding are said to make the car a robust SUV from every perspective, while there are trademark styling additions like the double-wing adaptive LED headlights, creased bonnet and boot lid, chrome skid plates and contrast roof. Inside, there's even more resemblance to the Astra with a near-identical dash and center console layout designed around Vauxhall's latest Intellilink touchscreen infotainment system. As expected, it will feature Vauxhall's OnStar emergency service and personal assistant, as well as wireless smartphone charging. Vauxhall is claiming that the Grandland X offers an elevated seating position typical of an SUV for both drivers and passengers, as well as good amounts of space for five inside within the 2.68M wheelbase. The boot has a load volume of 514 liters seats up or 1,652 liters seats down, although these figures are 77 liters and 18 liters down on the 3008 respectively. Full specifications will be announced closer to the car's debut in Frankfurt, but we do know that top models will feature tech such as adaptive cruise control with pedestrian detection, advanced park assist and driver tiredness alert. We can also expect kits such as heated seats front and rear, and an electric tailgate. Like the 3008, there won't be the option of audit launch, but the Grandland X will feature Peugeot's Grip Control 5 mode torque distribution system. This will help to deal with slippery or rough surfaces. No engine details have been confirmed, but the Grandland will exclusively use a range of PSA-sourced 3- and 4-cylinder petrol and diesel units rather than any existing Vauxhall engines likely to be a mix of 1.6 and 2.0-liter diesels, and 1.2 and 1.6-liter turbo petrols. The EMP2 underpinnings also mean a plug-in hybrid version could be offered. The Grandland X will go on sale soon after the Frankfurt show in September with first customer deliveries due in early 2018.